Hello, friends. Happy Wednesday. I could tell you that it's hot, but I think it's pretty much hot all over the world right now. Well, not all over the world, but most of the folks that are seeing this video are probably experiencing some fairly extreme heat. Uh, so I won't complain about that. On a bookshop in the Wednesday basket, but... So, I decided to take some time off. Um, you guys know, hopefully know by now, that I'm not doing a live stream this Friday. Um, Jay Mouton is going to use that time slot for his uh, Sweet Smokes benefit for Le Don Mott. And I think I've got a... There we go. Yeah, so so he's going to be doing a benefit auction for Le Don's family. Uh, as I'm sure you know, Ladon uh, passed away last week, and uh, Jason stepped up and said, "Well, we're gonna we're gonna auction off some stuff, and we're gonna you know get money to help Ladon's family in this time of need." He's put together a playlist of the things that are going to be auctioned. At least most of them, I think, um, may not be all inclusive, but I'll link to Jason's latest video. Uh, on the on the auction down below and you can use that to find his channel and subscribe to him and then uh, Watch the he, he talks about the playlist in that video so you can watch the playlist and see what's going to be auctioned off But you know go uh, Show support even even if uh, you're not going to bid on anything Go just like you would come to my Friday live stream hang out in the chat talk to people Show Ladon's family that we have a community here that, that cares about them. So that's going to be happening Friday, uh, 8 p.m. Eastern, uh, my normal time slot, but on Jason's channel. So I was thinking, you know, I originally just thought I wasn't going to do a solo live stream, but then, you know, we got to talking with my wife and and we were supposed to go to Pittsburgh last week, and I had this health thing crop up, and I'm feeling pretty good now. So, so well, why not go to Pittsburgh around the Fourth of July? So we are. We're gonna we're gonna be in Pittsburgh. Uh, we're gonna leave tomorrow, and we'll be back on Tuesday, I think. I think that's right. Uh, so because of that, it's pretty unlikely that I'm going to be able to do a Sunday video. Uh, I'll try. I might put something together, but it, yeah, maybe, maybe I'll do a little impromptu live stream on Sunday morning from Pittsburgh. That would be kind of fun. Uh, it would probably be from like the, the back of the hotel or something. I, I don't know where else I would go, but yeah, let's see what happens. But you may not see me until next Wednesday. You can live without me. So the timing just all fell together for this. I just finished up um, three different customer pipes. Um, they were all single pipes and two of them were pretty simple. One was a bit more complex. So I got them in roughly at the same time and uh, got them all finished and got them in the mail yesterday. So I don't have any ongoing pipe work right now. So it's perfect. Emailed a couple of people on the waiting list that you know you're coming up next. You can send your pipes, and they'll get them in the mail. And by the time I come back, I'll be ready to move again. So that's good. Uh, it's a great time to take off at work because everybody is. So there's really not a lot of stuff going on. So this is this is pretty cool. I'm, I'm, it all just kind of fell together, and I'm happy about that. It'll be nice to just get away for a bit. To see my in-laws, who I haven't seen in over a year, and uh, yeah, just relax, eat some, eat some good food, and, and have some, uh, have a good time. So that's what we're planning to do. Uh, beyond that, I'm making really nice progress on the waiting list. So 
I believe I'm now going to be working on number 21 out of 30. Actually, out of 32. I, I added two folks on at the end before I realized I can't do that, because if I do that, what's the point of having a closed waiting list? You're just going to keep adding people. I want to get to zero before I take any new orders. So 21 out of 32. Not, not terrible. And it's better working this way. Um, I can take my time on a pipe and not have to worry about the five other pipes that are sitting in a drawer. But I got to worry about the 10 or 12 people that are waiting. And, you know, that, that kind of worries me. So I'm not, I'm not fully happy with this, this uh, design either. And I've been thinking a lot about this, you know, what I'm going to do once I get to zero on the waiting list. Once I get to 32, I guess, on the waiting list. And I, I, I don't know. I don't think I'm just going to open up the waiting list again. I'm going to probably change what I'm doing here. Um, I, I don't know. I, I'm not going to get into any detail because I don't know any detail to give you, but I, I just, I don't think going forward we're going to just keep doing what we've been doing for the past couple of years. It, it's got to change. Now I'm specific, specifically talking about the pipe repair and restoration business there, not the, the YouTube channel. So one of the things I'm hoping to do while I'm away from everything is just spend some time reflecting on that and just see if I can come up with some, some ideas. Did I show you this? I don't know if I did or didn't. This is my brand spanking new tamper from Larry Blackett. This is called a brass monkey. And it goes with the cannon. I put the cannon away. So Did I put the cannon away? No, I got the cannon right here. So we got the cannon, and we got the brass monkey sitting next to it. Um, <laughs> the brass monkey is uh, a holder for cannonballs. There, it was a plate that has depressions in it, a brass plate, and the cannonballs would be piled up in a, in a pyramid, as you see here. And there's a great story about why, well, there's a great story about this and and how it led to a particular expression uh and i'm not going to get into that because larry did a video on it i'm fairly certain and if he didn't somebody else did so uh i'll i'll leave you to discover that but yeah this is this is the brass monkey tamper and i like it it's uh it's different from the other ones i have um but it's it's got some really nice weight to it and it's kind of interesting because it's top heavy, but but that just lets you, you know, you can just sort of let go of it and it tamps. So very nice. Well, folks, I don't really have a lot more to talk about other than I got to pack for a trip. <laughs> Worse than that, my wife has to pack for a trip. That can be. You guys all know how it is, and, and you women know how it is, too. You know, men pack for a four-day trip, and they have... You know, one little bag and women packed for a four-day trip and they've got six suitcases. I don't know why, but that's what happens. So, yeah, we got to get through all that. Um, it'll be fun. I'm just going to keep telling myself that until it starts to be fun. Anyway, I think I've rambled enough on this. Don't forget, um, Jason Mouton's channel, Friday night, 8 p.m. Eastern. Ladon Mott Sweet Smokes Benefit Auction. Do not miss it.
I will try to attend. I'm going to be with the in-laws, and I don't know what's going on on Friday night, so I may or may not be able to, to attend. If nothing else, maybe I can just pop in and say hello. But uh, I'm disappointed that, I'm, that I might miss it because I, I think, uh, well, check out the playlist that Jason put together. You'll, you'll see. All right, folks. I'm going to finish this up, get back to work, and I hope you're all having a great Wednesday. Fantastic week ahead, and looking forward to the weekend, which we're halfway there. All right, friends. Take care, and we'll talk soon. Bye now.